Well, hello everyone, here I'm with my first Lego Harry Potter Summer 2023 review, and this one's on Dobby the House Elf, well, build a figure set that was just released. So, on the front of the box, of which we have the Lego Harry Potter logos and Wizarding World logo, and same border that we've been seeing since 2021, and see just picture of the set with, that there is in a hallway of Hogwarts, of course, and... And then age recommendation is 8 and up. Set number 76421 has 403 pieces. And flip on to the back of the box. So you have Dombey in another position. And also the posability of them. And logo and set number again. And there. And on to the instruction manual of which... Sort of a odd rendering like we've been seeing since uh, last year, of course. See, add for the transition to paper bags and add for the builder app on the back. How to win on the online survey. And the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then add for create your own Hogwarts castle, or I mean, or otherwise connecting all the Hogwarts or Hogwarts sets, which along with the all-new uh, Battle of Hogwarts set, which I'll get in review soon. Again. And then the last steps. So first off, for the uh, three accessories you get with this. So like least best of which is do you get oh it's supposed to be a great sock of Gryffindor. Well may have just existing curve pieces of which but oh, what's missing is probably oh anything should have been here is probably a red and yellow cheese slope representing Gryffindor, since it's to be the sock of Gryffindor. Or, but maybe you can add that on if you wanted, but yeah. And the next of which is this uh, small size brick built version of Tom Riddle's diary. And of course, it, which is all stickered on it, unfortunately. And you see, has the little hole in it representing from the climax of Chamber Secrets and also the full name, Tom Marvolo Riddle, of course. And also those recent art pieces in gold, nice to see here. And other side of which, just a hole again. And can open it up like so. And also, what I'll show later is representing. You can let him hold it and, oops, and place the sock into the corpse. Right. Oh, sorry about that. And now, on to the last bit of which which is just this cake from the opening part, or the first half of Chamber of Secrets, which, as you can see, comprise of mostly uh, white, lavender, and spring green uh, studs and well, studs and flower pieces represent the well-done icing of it, but also a few red studs. That's also for that. And the top part of which, you can see that kind of well. And see, it's well stacked in there. And yes, and of course, we have existing uh, round plates. So, and also, you get a few clear uh, uh, cylinder pieces, large cylinder pieces, and dish piece representing it floating off of that. And also, like in that scene, but yeah. Although, what would be nice to have uh, just as a regular minifig is probably a me random one of Petunia Dudley, or I mean Petunia Dursley, or yeah, Petunia Dursley, or Aunt Marge, of which when they had the cake dropped on them, and of course, all of you kind of saw that in the 2020 Privet Drive set, but yeah. And now, on to Dobby himself. Which, as you can see, a kind of good design for how it is. And of course, looking almost like he does in the movie, of course, and 
this build a witch done quite differently than we've had with some of these recent buildable characters like Hedwig and Fox and uh, Hungarian Hordetail, of course. But they all had a gear function in them for the wings flapping, but this is a witch not at all. But, but although this does open possibility for some others, but yeah. And so now from the ground up, like I always do, you have this little stamp like bit made of existing uh, curved bricks and plates and also a uh, curved slope with a sticker on it. Well, there's very few stickers in this set and of course saying Dobby on it, of course. And if you notice this like back part of which, which is where you can attach the feet onto just by two studs and a jumper for that, which I'll have to decide and he does stand quite well without it. So as for the feet of which, as you can see, it comprised of most of mainly just regular old uh, plates and a few curved slopes on there. And of course those recent uh, curved brick pieces used as toes, of course. And as for the legs of which, just made of existing bricks and a jumper on it, representing like kneecaps, of course. And as for the body, of which comprised mostly like dark tan on it, since of course it's supposed to represent a large cloth sack that he's wearing, since house elves kind of wear stuff like that. But yeah, it's like has a whole bunch of curved slopes around, and of course one going off to the side a bit, and of course. But also those corner ones representing like folds and wrinkles on it. And also do get one of which on the side represent like a knot part of it. On the back side do you have some reverse tiles on there and a corner uh, plate on there. Represent a little more smoothness to it. And also, although I do quite like symmetry in my figures of which, of course, I think I, this one's kind of workable, unless it was an original figure, then I would still like that. Band. And as for these arms of which, which are kind of small, and also just these regular uh, pieces in flesh tone, in flesh color, going down to like a few hinges and then also a few posable fi fingers. Well, fingers that are posable, like we saw in the Marvel mech sets and stuff. And also the uh, Marvel Build of Figure sets recently. There's still a good range of posability in them. And, then, and as for the head, oh, which looking just about like it does in the movies so it's like with the large green eyes there and of course a card hood piece with a closed smirk to it so it's kind of like as he had in the 2020 uh collectible minifig series of that and of course a cheap slope going downwards to be his long nose of course and also do get a few stud or a few uh inverted slopes off to the side representing his posable ears, which of course nice to see there. Although I think there could have been a little bit more added to it to make the gaps be filled in, but whatever. And as for the back side of which does have those little curved or quarter kind of plate or pizza slice pieces, but used as like grey hair or something. Which kind of like as we had with 2019 Bill Yoda set, of course. And also, and if you notice right here, that this ball joint piece, which, well, if you like reboot pieces underneath that, of which is actually some ball socket piece, which, well, or if you're familiar in the Bionicle line, would call the Glatorian necks, which, but in this case, which, now used in flesh color and used for this set. Very interesting use of that. But at least nice to see it used in this 
and, and did all the things, but yeah. And so for the pose ability, which I already saw with the ears of which and head of which, on a ball joint, full range of motion. And as the arms of which, full movement at the shoulders, not in the elbows, but the wrists of which just swivel up and down. I think should have been the other ball joint, should have been ball socket joints as well. Of course, and fingers, all fully poseable, of course, and not in at all in the legs. Which, since, of course, although if you know anything about Dobby, a wish tends to kind of bend down a bit, or kind of crunch down a bit. So, at least some leg articulation would have been just fine for that, but, and the feet kind of swivel back and forth. And also to get back on the base part of which, just attach the foot onto the slopes on there. Well, there. And also, as I mentioned with the uh, two accessories earlier, you can have them pose and, and represent the Dobby is free scene at the end of Chamber of Secrets, of course. And so now, on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, I think this is which a quite you which a quite good set for how he is. Like do you get a few good accessories and also build a figure set that is only like five dollars cheaper than the previous uh cre or figure creature sets of Harry Potter, of course. Even though the kind of things like that we don't get any functions in this, but it's fine. But at least do you get a few good accessories, like the sock and whatnot. And also, as for the price for pizza, which kind of works out for that. Well, three five, kind of weak, but whatever. And and if you were looking to get this set for your collection, definitely get it. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.